it's Jerry Wells. And I'm Angela Stribling. And finally, we're back together again on, on the, the Soul, Soul Train, Train Cruise. Cruise. My seventh time being on the Soul Train cruise. I come every year after year just to party and have a good time. I dance the night away. This is our third cruise, and I just can't wait to see all this entertainment. We are just so excited about being on the cruise again and just can't wait to get aboard, relax, and start partying. I'm just getting on the Soul Train cruise, and I'm ready to dance. It's been two long years since we sailed together, so the second we boarded the ship, we got the party started. I said, whatever we do, we don't miss the sail away party because that starts the whole week. And that makes my day, our day, our week, our year. We haven't even left the dock yet. They're already partying, like we're out at sea. So it's like a non-stop party. I just love it. So it's ultimate. And UGO rocked it. They performed and they started everything out and we had a great time. Our 2022 main stage shows featured live performances from so many of our favorites. Ladies and gentlemen, Keith Sweat, Jeffrey Osborne, Gladys Knight, The Manhattans, Patty Austin. After seven, Russell Tompkins Jr. and the stylistics, Freddie Jackson. This is only day one, but we saw Keith Sweat and we are so excited. He was phenomenal. This is why I keep coming back year after year after year. There is nothing like the Soul Train Cruise. So, we go home. Go on together. You know what? Living the life. Gladys Knight's voice is legendary. It is iconic. Like that is what we come here for. We come here to hear that, to hear her voice in person. It's just, it's a beautiful thing. Honey, you are my shining star. He sung all 
of my favorites, On the Wings of Love. I just didn't sit down the whole time. He jumped in the crowd, went up on the second floor. He never let us sit down for one minute. It was the best show I've ever seen, and this is my third trip. I just watched After 7 put on the best show that I've seen since I've been on this boat. It was phenomenal. I felt like I was the fourth member of the group because I knew every song and I sang it word for word, loud and strong. Music filled every corner of the ship, all day and all night long. Track your grip, taking you on a trip, ain't no thing. All we got, dancing feet. Leave your worries behind. Leave your worries behind. Leave your worries behind. Leave your worries behind. Leave your having a ball. You know, we've been to Cuba on cruises and other places, but I'm going to tell you, this one is the bomb. Old school R&B, it is the soundtrack of our lives. You know, it's the heartbeat of everything. It's music that makes you happy, you agree? Absolutely. All I'm asking Dance for breakfast, dance for lunch, and boogie down all night. We never get tired. There's non-stop music and live entertainment. It's awesome. You and I, you and me, each kept by eternity. You and I, you and me, be together eternity. Ooh, boy, I love you so. Never, ever, ever gonna let you go. Once I get my hands on you
fans are so amazing. They are the real thing. This will be an everlasting love. This will be the one I'm waiting for. This will be the first time anyone has loved me. Anita Baker tribute was amazing. You would have thought Anita was there. She did Anita justice. She really did. Ain't nobody loves me better. Makes me happy. Makes me feel this way. Ain't nobody, nobody loves me better. Makes me happy this way. Small venues are great because it's like a personal contact with the artist. Every day that you're here, it's just non-stop entertainment. We party by the pool and dance to the music under the sun and Caribbean stars. We love the theme nights. Uh, we're alumni. This is our fifth Soul Train cruise, so we thoroughly enjoy the theme nights. I love dressing up, the changing, the outfits. I had a heavy suitcase, but I said that I was going to bring everything for each theme night. We just love the many different theme nights. The dressing up, the funk night, dressing up in our 70s outfits, and, and the, the all white. <laughs> the theme nights, represent night is one of the best things about it. Getting dressed up, representing your team. Give it to me. Oh, give me that stuff, that funk, that sweet, that funky stuff. Give it to me. Oh, give me that stuff, that funk, that sweet, that funky stuff. Give it to me. 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 Give it to me.
Plus, you brought the moves at the dance classes taught by original Soul Train dancers. We love the Soul Train dance classes, and it's just great. It's a great crowd. We met some amazing friends. Our gospel events were truly something special this year as we finally raised the roof together again. Yes, we love good soul music, but we love the Lord too. Somebody say amen. To be able to give God some praise and have that added to the program is a very special thing. My soul, my soul of the naked in the Lord. Thank you, And there's nothing quite like getting to know your favorite artists at the interactive events. The hardest part of doing Car Wash was playing every scene, I mean, every music scene. If the guy's turning it, we, we got to play. So it took us about six months wow. to do that album. Uh, and uh, actually, when we finished, we kind of said, well, you know, uh, if making a record is this, this difficult, maybe we should... Uh, it, don't take any more soundtracks. Uh, for, that, that sounded but, like but, a score. Oh, that was, that was, that was. And I think we were one of the first group to have yeah. a double double album set. Wow. I love the All Access Pass because it allows me to get to know the artists a little bit better. And I just started singing, It's been so long since you let love in. So many ups and downs, you don't know how to begin. But I want to tell you, just one day at a time. Give me a chance, and I'll make you mine. And what about you? Mm. And it, that's how it came about. <laughs> you know what? I think yeah. I can do that. It's been a long time. <laughs> I was not here, but I'm here today. <laughs> One day he called and said, hey, listen. Just make sure you, Keith, and uh, Melvin are together. Make sure you got all your bills paid down or whatever. They got, we got an opportunity, we think, is, is coming. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, probably within another six to eight months, he said, we got you a deal. And I said, we got us a deal. And he said, yeah. So we had a deal with Virgin Records. They'd never seen us. They never heard us. It was simply on the strength of L.A. and Babyface that put us on to Virgin Records. Now, I can't be mad at that. No, no. <laughs> Bravo. It's a privilege. You actually sat in the audience, you have an opportunity to ask questions. It's very intimate. This is what brings me back to the Soul Train Cruise because I don't believe I've had the opportunity to do this anywhere else in the world. Of course I do my hits because that's what people want to hear. So we do that. And, and I keep waiting, I must tell you. I have these little private moments in my head before I sing Baby Come To Me or How Do You Keep The Music Playing or Heat Of Heat or any of those songs where I say to myself, is this the night that I'm gonna be really tired of singing this song? <laughs> Hasn't happened yet. So that tells me how fabulous that material is. And to be attached to it and to have writers think about you when they're writing a piece of material and to tailor it, it's like wearing couture. You know, I'm singing couture songs that were written for me to sing. So the, the excitement to sing those songs has never gone away. You'll know if it does, because it'll really sound bad. So, <laughs> but so far, so good. Thank you for much for the airplane ride, because it was a soul plane. Jeffrey Osborne, Gladys oh, Knight, man. Freddie, Je we was a soul plane. The only thing, only thing we was missing was fried chicken. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but we were all in first class, and we were laughing. I was sharing Starbucks cake with Gladys as lit her slice, and uh, Jeffrey's like, no, I can't eat it, because I'm so healthy. <laughs> he is, too. He looks great. Yeah, he looks real damn good. You're like, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Woo, woo, woo. Okay. <laughs> Do you ever get uh, tired of hearing that woo, woo, woo? I want to woo, woo, woo. <laughs> 
I always listen. To be honest, it I always wanted old. him to ask me <laughs> when one, during one of his shows to, to, to woo woo woo. <laughs> and I'm, but I'm never around. I said, man, I wish I could woo woo woo. You know, but he he never asked me. Tony, I think the only reason you brought this up <laughs> is because you want to woo. You want to woo 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 right now, don't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want to be in the right spot when he starts the woo woo woo. I'm gonna get you this time. Now that I know, now that I know, I'm gonna call you up. No, I can't wait. I can't I'm not wait. Even, I'm uh -oh, not even. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> One, two, busting on Tony. Can you woo woo woo? Can you woo woo woo? Can you woo woo woo? Yes, she mine. Oh my. Come on, one more time. Can she woo woo woo? Can you woo 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 woo? Can you woo woo woo? Tony! Oh! Give it up for Tony! All that says past is the best. Cause you get to know information about artists that you didn't know. Also, you get a chance to talk to them, ask them questions, and take photos with them. So it's it's awesome. You don't get that opportunity nowhere else. What the Soul Train crews? To have that one-on-one -on -one kind of contact with the artist is just fantastic. You can actually mingle with artists and just be out on the deck with them. It's amazing. And everybody is just so down to earth. No place else can you get this kind of entertainment and interaction and love but here on the Soul Train Cruise. We came up with this idea to try to do something like this to pair wine and soul food. I just know that, you know, pairing wine with soul food back in the day, we didn't, we didn't give a damn what kind of wine it was, soul food. <laughs> The celebration never stopped. Yeah, and many of you danced till dawn and showed off your moves <laughs> at Club Soul Train. until we cried at the Soul Train Cruise Comedy Club. Soul Train called me yesterday and said, Isaiah, get to the airport. We found you a round trip ticket, $30. I said, get the hell out of here. <laughs> Y'all already know what airline I was on. Spirit like a mug. I had 35 layovers just to get to Fort Lauderdale. I went from New York to New Jersey, New Jersey to Philly, Philly to DC, DC to Baltimore, Baltimore to Charlotte, Charlotte to LA, LA to Oakland, Oakland to Vegas, Vegas to Chicago, Chicago to Miami, went back to New York. I said, hold on, nigga. I can take an Uber from Miami, I'm close enough. The comedy shows on the Soul Train Cruise are awesome. I make sure I say this on every single cruise I do. Respect the staff, because this job is not easy. It's not. If this ship goes down, who do you think is in charge of the lifeboat? That same dude you've been fucking with in the buffet. Now, he a good dude. He gonna save everybody he can, but don't make him make a choice. 
He'd be like, come on, everyone, get in the boat. Come on, squeeze in. We have plenty room. We can save everybody. Come on, get up. Hope you can swim. We just came back from the Frank Townsend show, and he was so funny, I almost wet my pants. Okay. Oh, my God, he was hilarious. Conversation with my grandmother is the best. She gives me all the gems about life. She gave me a good one. She's like, baby, you got to figure out a way to age gracefully. You're not going to like anything that happens as you get older. This ain't the haircut I wanted. <laughs> this is the haircut they give you. You understand? I, I had dreams and aspirations. I wanted a little fro, maybe some corn rolls. My barber stepped to me straight up like, look, ain't no need for you to keep coming around here. You understand? Like, you can come through and watch movies, but... And we even got to see many of your talents at the Going Going Gong Talent Show. And when we're out on a date, all the fellas wait till I'm on my way. A date's trying to beat my time to tell the man a nice one to run on by. We made Cotton King lay out our nation's capital. Made stoplights red. Yellow, green, created in the image and after the likeness of God. Who will never fail? We let Columbus to America. Oh. Billion dollars a year. Sometimes I say things that I should not say. God is making me better every day. To be in his will is my only desire. With God I know I go higher and higher with God. Then I went to the C's and looked up C-L-A-T. A disease that is bad for S-E-X. Would you, would you hurry up and get this? Okay. Where do I go from here? Back, out the back. <laughs> out, out the back, down those steps. If you think our winner is Stephanie, let's hear it. Ooh. Good news, you're in first place. If you think it's Elton. It's very, very close, but I think you have spoken. Congratulations, Elton. You are the Going, Going, Gong Show champion. I am just so thrilled to be the winner. It's all about fun. That, that's what this kind of competition is all about. One more question for you, gentlemen. We're keeping it light, getting you off the hot seat. If you could snuggle up to any woman in the world other than your wife, uh -oh. who would it be? Holly Berry. Holly Berry. Oh, what she think I would probably say? I'm going to say Jane Kennedy. Oh. oh, I remember Jane Kennedy. Do they have to be a celebrity? It said woman. As long as it's not someone else on the ship, I think yeah, you'll be Yeah, that's right. what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, he said, what's your name? <laughs> oh! You're getting me in trouble. <laughs> if your husband could just snuggle with any other woman in the world, who would it be? Jerry? Beyonce. No. <laughs> Angela? She... That would be Halle Berry. <laughs> She said, oh, yes, that's right. Frida, what do you think your husband said? Jane Kennedy. Oh, uh, five points. Why? Why? I'm just saying why. You, you answered. Because she looks as good as I do. Oh. I love that. I love it. Amy, are you clued in? No. I'm just trying. He better not pick anybody that I know. Oh, no, he didn't. He, he, he did pick someone that's kind of close to you. And Lionel Richie is singing, just to be close to you, girl. Okay, what do you think? I'm going to say he must have picked somebody out here that I've met her or something. Let me see. Who do you think it is? I'm warm? Oh, okay, let me look, let me look, let me look. 
It's not me. We brought the Soul Train Party all the way to the beautiful ports of Costa Maya and Cozumel. It's beautiful to come off the ship. We in Costa Maya. Even the parrots are talking to us. Talk to them, parrots. We're having a great time here. Cozumel is outstanding. Friendly people, good sales. The tequila's great, and hey, we're just having a good time out here. We couldn't get enough of that sweet soul music, and our final day on board was full of surprise shows to close out this amazing week. And of course, we celebrated the legendary Don Cornelius, who brought us the iconic television show that started it all. When Don Cornelius started this, everybody in the African-American community right. was coming to see who was who. He was a pioneer, and he had a vision. He had the hardest time selling that, I understand. Absolutely. But finally, he got it on the air, and he blew their minds with the kind of ratings he got, and I was one of the people who tuned it in every Saturday morning. And the beautiful thing about Soul Train was that it brought you into markets where you weren't even on the radio. I mean, in my hometown, we didn't have no black radio, but my black face was on television when Soul Train came on. <laughs> and that's the only way they knew what I was doing. Really, it was incredible. I mean, when you think about it, there was a lot of markets that didn't have R&B radio back then. But uh, Don was able to bring us right into their living room. So it, it was huge for us. I remember him saying, know what it is, what, what you want, and where you're going to go. And keep it, first of all, he would say, in your heart. Make it come from your heart. And so that education from Mr. Don Cornelius, the man that I admired sitting in my living room, you know, and just a little secret, I never got a chance to know my real dad. So it was like my father was talking to me at the same time, telling me to go forth. And I'll never forget him for that. And it still holds weight for me to this day. That's why I was excited about even coming here, because it feels yeah. like I was coming home in a way. It's a great message. Yeah, it's a great story. I'm just happy that, that, that we can be here and celebrate the music and the message. I mean, in other words, there was a woman that came up to me today and talked about, she said, God, I thought about what love, peace, and soul means. And, and the point she was making is, in order to have peace, you have, you have to have love. In order to have love, you have to have soul. And he said, that's what your father was talking about. And that's exactly what he was talking about. So all I can say is love, peace, and soul. Yes. Yeah. This cruise really is a family affair. A reunion for everyone who keeps coming back year after year. If you came to town like us, whoa, got to keep it live on us. If you have never been on a cruise or if you've traveled hundreds of thousands of times on a cruise, you have not sailed until you've come on the Soul Train Cruise. We got friends from all over the world now. So each time we come back, it's like a, a family reunion. This is really where the action is. We would rather be here than anywhere else. The, the music, the people, the atmosphere, it's wonderful. You, you can't ask for any better. It's just love, peace, and soul. I have done other cruises. They are nothing. It's all about the Soul Train Cruise. Soul Train Cruise is the bomb. It is the hippest ship on the sea. Wow, wow. Like our music. And you know the party doesn't stop there. 2023 marks our 10th anniversary celebration, and it's sure to be the biggest and best yet. This is 
our sixth one. We signed up for number seven next year, the 10th anniversary. Of course, we're coming back. We'll be here every year. The 10th anniversary is going to be off the chain. Hey. <laughs> The lineup is going to be off the charts for 2023, and I cannot wait. I'm looking forward to seeing George Benson, the spinners. I'm just so excited about all the acts that's going to be here. I'm excited about everybody that's going to be there. I am totally addicted to Soul Train. I plan to be back every year. This is seven times for me, and I'm signed up for the eighth time. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Love the Soul Train crews. From now on, we are part of the Soul Train family, and we look forward to seeing everybody else here every year. We can't wait to come back in 2023 for the Soul Train. Join us for another week full of love, love peace, peace, and soul. And soul. You can bet your last money. It's going to be a stone gas, honey. I feel like busting loose. 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 I